the Colorado camera uh, showing you that most of the very cold air is across the Great Lakes right now and parts of uh, Maine and even New England. That is just where uh, conditions are bitter cold. Of course, we're at 43 degrees right now. Sunshine helping us warm up quite a bit today. Uh, areas across North Dakota in the 30s. So we've got another wave of cold air coming in overnight tonight. So Thursday is going to be a lot chillier and another round of snow showers. I would liken this to uh, the system that we had yesterday in terms of most of the track of the snow is going to favor those higher terrain areas. It's going to be a lot quicker though. Uh, so the fast moving nature of this particular storm tomorrow is uh, going to limit snowfall totals and that should limit any widespread impacts on those roads. Of course, we can't rule out just uh, some slight conditions tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening, uh, but you'll notice you can't even really see the system showing up here across northern sections of Utah, but you can see kind of that thick cloud cover. And a few returns starting to show up on I-15 right now north of Salt Lake City. Clouds are already increasing across parts of northwestern Colorado. And uh, we'll start to see more cloud cover rolling in overnight tonight, which will help to insulate the surface and keep us only in the 20s overnight tonight. It's not quite as cold. A couple little bands of snow will start to develop across the far eastern plains and even across parts of our high country locations just south of Vail and around Aspen. But so fast moving, it's really just going to limit the amount of snow. We will start to get a bit more in the way of scattered snow showers as the sun rises tomorrow. Uh, even though it's going to be cloudy, the sun's still going to be heating the tops of those clouds. That adds to the instability levels, which will add to a little bit more in the way of scattered snow showers. We need that instability, and uh, that will uh, help to develop more snow across parts of Denver and northern Colorado uh, closer to 9 o'clock in the morning. And then that pushes north to south across the Palmer Divide from about 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Areas in the Monument will start to see a few snow showers into those early afternoon hours. And then a couple little bursts of snow here across parts of Fountain in Port Carson. We'll get that donut hole effect here in Colorado Springs yet again, which means that north wind will dry us out and uh, we will may see a few flurries around the springs, but we won't have any widespread accumulations as that system enters the sun, southern mountains and the Sangre de Cristos. That will give way to a quick little inch to two inches for parts of Walsenburg, Trinidad, and even Aguilar and parts of eastern Los Angeles County. And then we quickly clear out for Friday. So Real quick moving system. Boy, it's going to be bitter cold on Thursday night. Here's a look at the snowfall totals at a glance here. Larger scope kind of just shows that mainly an inch to two inches for higher terrain areas, less than an inch for parts of northern El Paso County. A bitter cold tomorrow, 20s and 30s, upper teens in Cripple Creek. So a lot colder here in southern Taylor County. 30 in Colorado Springs, 25 in the Wet Mountain Valley of Westcliff, Beulah Valley at 29 degrees with snow showers coming in mainly after 3 p.m. And we will have some partial sunshine in the southeastern plains before an increase in cloud cover by the afternoon. So you may get a little sunshine there in Los Animas, and then we'll start to see ample sunshine into the weekend as high pressure builds back into the region, and that will even help to warm us up. So temperatures will be a bit more pleasant in Woodland Park by the weekend as we bounce back into the 40s. But those overnight low temperatures Thursday night will be down in the single digits for all of our zones, meaning places like Woodland Park are going to be close to zero degrees tomorrow night. So very cold, but we shake that out very quickly by Friday and then even warmer by the weekend. Places like Colorado Springs warming into the 50s by the weekend. I'll tell you right now, my kids are going to say, let's go to the pool, mom. It's warm outside. Let's go to the pool. Outdoor pool? We have a heated pool. Oh, there you go. But they think that that means we should be in the pool all, all year round. It's heated, yeah. moms, just like bath water. They it's going to be hard not to. 57 <laughs> degrees. That sounds yeah, right. great. Yeah. Mary, thanks. Quick look at traffic right now. I'll take you outside. I 25 in Uinta. Northbound I 25. Pretty slow right now. We'll tell you some other slow spots around town when we come back.